Hello everybody, Jerry at Aaron's Marine back with you on Father's Day weekend. Hope you all are having a good one out there. I wanted to make a quick uh, vid today for you. Got a uh, bass boat in today for uh, some minor maintenance and repair and I was looking over the engine. I noticed the voltage regulators on this particular engine. You can see they've got kind of the transparent yellow tinted potting material in them. Uh, there's still a lot of these out running around on the lake. These were the early voltage regulators that Mercury used on the uh, V6 application back in the early 90s. And uh, these were notorious for shorting out and overheating the charging system. Uh, if you look inside there, you can see all the little transistors and the solder joints and so forth. But anyway, these would electrically stick on and they would overwork the charging system. This engine has a 40 amp charging system on it, uh, two 20 amp regulator rectifiers. They're kind of hard to see in the video here, but they're right in here. There's one here and one below it. So what I've did is I've upgraded this engine with the newer style fused regulator from Mercury. These, these uh, regulators have had 04 or 05 super sessions, but this is the new fused regulator rectifier. You can see the black fuse holder there. Uh, they have did a lot to improve these. So very important if you own one of these engines, take a look back here at the, re the regulators. If you can see the clear transparent potting material, and that'll indicate you've got the old uh, regulator rectifiers, and I would recommend changing them. They're not cheap, uh, but I have seen lots of them uh, overheat, smoke, and smolder. I've seen a couple engines catch on fire from them. The other problem that we see, and I don't know if I can get this on the video, up under the flywheel here you can see the yellow wires. It's probably not going to focus too well here. You can see the copper coil windings right around those yellow wires. That's the start of the uh, stator, engine stator. Uh, those coils actually make AC voltage to charge the battery. They make AC voltage and that voltage goes down to the regulators and the rectifier assembly in there changes it to DC voltage which goes into your charging system and that's how the engine charges its battery. So what happens on these old regulators if the they malfunction they put the maximum load on the stator under here and it causes it to get hot and this stator here if you can look under there you can already see the copper windings are starting to burn on it that's because this thing is just getting worked to death so uh, something I wanted to point out to you if you don't have a voltmeter this boat would be one example. A lot of boats don't have a voltmeter, so you'll never know that you get your overcharging. I've actually seen these boats with over 17 volts at the battery when you test it. I know that's unbelievable, but I've seen it. So we're going to start the engine and uh, my amateur recording skills here. I'll see if I can get this for you. We're going to start the engine. We don't want the charging system to be over 14.5. It never should be higher than that. If it is, then there's a problem with the system. So let's start it up and we'll see what we got here. Idle it up here a little bit. We're going to take a look at the uh, old meter here. You can see I'm running about 14.5. You can see that uh, regulator kicking in and out as it needs to. engine is charging correctly you should never get over 14.5 if you're getting 15 16 like I say I've seen some at 17 then that's a problem uh, if you do see that you need to disconnect your battery shut your engine off disconnect the battery and uh, call your uh, favorite repairman out hopefully it'll be me that you call so anyway I just wanted to point that out to you if you've got an early Mercury V6 they're great engines but that was one of the uh, problems they've had. So anyway, hope you all have a great weekend and uh, thanks for watching.